In this video, what I want to walk you through is an ICU notebook designed primarily for nurses, but it can kind of be used interchangeably. And the reason why this is designed mainly for the ICU um, is based off the template that we have. So unlike most of our other templates, which are broken down more kind of generally uh, in terms of you know subjective, objective, things like that, this one's going to be broken down in terms of system, right? So here you'll have your, your major um, just information about the patient, their chief complaint, kind of what they're in for just so you can kind of remember what their one-liner is and then going down into the different systems your cardiovascular GI GU lines respiratory neuro skin and IV drips that's going to be just a, a good when you're getting sign out and then also when you're giving sign out just having the main information for example in cardiovascular you know whether or not they have any type of symptoms either on physical exam or also a, objective data or subjective data as well JVD whether or not they have any pacemaker any edema things like that your GI is going to be not only do they have any lines like NG or OG or PEG tube, when was their last bowel movement, what are they on for a diet, do they have any pain or what is their abdominal exam looking like. And then going through each of the different organ systems, we give you a little bit of hints on some things to, to note, but also just kind of free, uh, free response in terms of what you're going to be uh, writing in each of these. And then unlike most of the other ones, most of the other templates that we have here, we're going to be giving you a lot more room in regards to things that you would be very confident commonly uh, administering, which is in the um, ICU, you're going to be taking vitals much more frequently. And so, you know, a lot of systems in, in terms of what they, they utilize in a hospital setting is that you're going to be scanning and then it's going to be automatically recording vital signs into the chart. But let's say you don't have that. Let's say you don't have that capability or you're too busy. So you're going to be writing down, let's just say you took the vitals at one o'clock and you took it again at four o'clock and then seven o'clock. You can just write them down here. We have the time and then also the vitals. The same thing goes with the, the sugars and also the medications. So here you can put the time and then the sugar, whether or not they had any intake output. And that here is again, you just kind of can add have have the same time so when you're doing all of it you're, you're getting the glucose and the intake and output or if you only did one or the other then you just kind of leave the glucose blank and then you just did the intake or you just an output then you put the uh, time there but everything else is blank so you can kind of use it how it works best for you and same thing for labs it's going to be right here here's going to be medications where you'll have four sections essentially what did you give when did you give it how much did you give it and by what route and you can just kind of go down here and, and again for most systems you're going to be scanning it and you're going to be you know having a, a documentation just through the EMR but let's say you want to give sign out or if one of the the doctors is asking oh by the way when did you uh, administer that oxy uh, and then you can kind of go through your chart really quickly and just flip to the next patient and they ask you another one and you just go through and, and find that actual medication when you gave it um, and here's just a section for notes do that you have so this is more just giving you a broad broad overview in terms of if someone were to give you sign out or if you want to give someone sign out this is a great tool to have and just to kind of keep good records because you'll be putting a lot more information into the EMR itself, but this will just give you a, a good idea in terms of kind of just the broad overview of each of your patients, one patient per each uh, template. And then if you see them for multiple days and you can either keep them and then just kind of continue on in the future, or you can rip out the pages and then move on with the next patient. Be sure to check out medicalbasics.com for more educational resources like our HMP notebook. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.